Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. Today we've got a great mix of Fallout 4 mods for you, including one inspired by Skyrim. Let's kick things off with the pre-war binoculars. This unique mod adds a brand new pair of functional binoculars to the game, allowing you to see the distant wasteland better than before. Thanks to varying levels of zoom and a bunch of attachments, the binoculars can be handy in a bunch of different situations. You can magnify what you're seeing by 4, 6, 8 or even 10 times the base level, so you can see into the extreme distance with ease. You can also use it at any time of the day or night thanks to the night vision attachment. If there's a ghoul lurking in the distance, you'll be sure to spot him. Similar to other tactical shooters, you can even add a recon module. This allows you to highlight any nearby enemies on your HUD simply by looking at them through the binoculars. So you can also use it to scout new locations before heading into them, which is great if you're playing a stealthy character. To get your hands on your very own pair, you can find it as a random drop, by crafting it if you're using the armour and weapons framework, or by buying a pair from gun dealers. It's a small addition to the wasteland, but something that can be especially handy for hunters. Next up is the Gunslinger outfit, an armour mod created by Eleonora. We've sung praise for Eleonora many times before, and we'll do so again here. The Gunslinger outfit is fit for both male and female characters, although we think it suits females just that little bit more. You can get your hands on the armour by buying it at Fallon's basement in Diamond City, but the hat can only be found where you encounter a dangerous mercenary. There's not much more to say. It has fitting textures, fits in with the overall aesthetic of the game, and adorns a Vault 111 logo on the back. Again, it's another fantastic set by Eleonora. The third mod today is the Handmade Revolver. This is a weapon based on unused official concept art from Bethesda themselves. The author couldn't quite find a weapon like it, so decided to make this highly customizable weapon to fill the void. It goes above and beyond what you'd usually expect of a weapon, starting off as a relatively weak, run-of-the-mill pistol, but can then be upgraded in stages all the way up to a gun that can stand up to the toughest of enemies. There's a wide range of options when it comes to receivers, barrels, sights and grips for you to choose from. So whether you're looking for a small handheld semi-auto pistol, a rifle or a powerful shotgun, this gun has you covered. You can find a revolver on top of a fireplace in a shed at Walden Pond, or you can simply find it as a drop or buy it from vendors. The author aimed for a charming homemade aesthetic and we think it's hit the nail right on the head. The textures look great and it actually looks like it's been made with bits and pieces that you'd find in the wasteland. This really is an all-in-one gun, and we can even see people using it from the start of the game all the way through to the end. And finally, today's fourth and final mod is the TES-51 Power Armor. As you can probably guess from its name, this Power Armor has been designed to give a nod to the Elder Scrolls while you're in the Wasteland. On top of looking absolutely fantastic, it comes with a bunch of extra Elder Scrolls-inspired features. You can mod the set with items including a backpack and animal trophies, including pieces of Forsworn Armor. On top of that, you can choose from a variety of new paint jobs, including Nordic War Paint, a Winter Camo, and Skyforge Steel. Again, obvious nods to Skyrim. But if that hasn't quenched your thirst, you can even make use of two new steel-based weapons from Skyrim, a Warhammer and a sword. So you can smash and slice your way through ghouls like you would Draugr's in the many crypts and dungeons in Tamriel. All of these things can be found in a new location added by the mod called Bethesda Comics. We won't spoil every little detail that you can find inside, but it's a nice little addition to the game and an interesting way to make them available to you. To complete the entire package, the mod also adds some extra finishing touches, including three new custom magazines and three custom loading screens. So the set really feels like it belonged to Fallout all along. All in all, it's probably not the most lore-friendly mod in the world, but it's certainly a hell of a lot more than your run-of-the-mill Power Armor mod. We're sure there's a big overlap of fans between the two popular Bethesda series, so if you're interested in adding a bit of Skyrim's flair to the wasteland, there's no mod better. You can find links to all of today's mods down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mods you enjoy, check out g2a.com and thanks for watching.